In what may be the hottest year in history, scientists have recorded radical changes to the permafrost in Antarctica. The Pandora virus, a so-called giant virus with the largest genome size ever recorded. The crabs also display increased aggression, even towards larger predators. A striking new weather anomaly has claimed many coastlines around the world. NASA is examining these clouds to figure out... We've detected large amounts of an organic composite. So far, the sample doesn't match any of the DNA records we've compared it with. We all saw it. Those creatures coming out of the sea on that oil rig. The president has declared a national emergency... It's obvious that what we're dealing with here is a biological weapon. As of today, we are at war. It's taking their minds. I saw them walk right into the sea. Thousands of people. Thousands. The mist is gone, but the city is dead. The roads are broken. You must join one of the havens. Do not attempt to survive on your own. The Phoenix Project was founded on October 24, 1945. The Second War to end all wars was over, but there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time, the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries, even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon, began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN, stripped of resources and scattered to the winds. We were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien, we should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. Three factions arose. New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the disciples of Anu, a new syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes.
like the wind. Ready. There. Rolling out. Moving in quick. Target located. I'll be right there. Rolling out. Here comes the Phoenix. Let's do this. down.
Normally, when we encounter a potential ally, we first send the Apostle to the Onceborn to check them out. But I'm gonna break protocol to say thanks. Now listen, I'll be honest with you. The Exalted is the only one who has any real answers. Tobias West may be clever and Sinedrian may sound great, but only the Exalted is dealing with the world as it actually is. She can lead us out of this mess, give us lives worth living. If you want to work with us, you'll still have to deal with the world. Research complete. Research complete. Research complete. Construction complete. Randall Symes was the last leader of the Phoenix Project. His great-grandfather had been there when it was founded, and he was there to witness its end. When we took back Phoenix Point, we found his notes. In his final days, as the world collapsed around him, he had been working frantically to understand the Pandora virus. Somewhere in the complicated history of the project, in decades of missions and investigations, there had to be an answer. His notes were damaged, too many of the files corrupted. But perhaps, if we could retrace his steps, we could figure out where his journey had taken him and what the answers he had discovered would mean for us. The more there is still time to look to reason, not superstition, for solutions. Phoenix, if you are receiving this message, then respond on the secure channel I have provided. It is essential that the information I am about to give you is kept confidential. My name is not important now, but I am known among the pure as Subject 24, the 24th volunteer in a program set up by Tobias West that gave us hope. We had a solution. A solution?! a secret program that would fix the world. And in the final moment, he backed down. Nothing prepared me for his treachery, his selfish cowardice. But his attempts to erase us have failed. Failed. It was known as Project Purity. 
One man's dream of replacing every inch of human flesh with neurally controlled prosthetics. When I volunteered for the project, I had nothing left. My entire family, entire family, had succumbed to the Pandora virus. I watched my wife through bulletproof glass as she slowly turned into an abomination. Abominations! They're everywhere, waiting, watching. I had nothing left to lose. Along with many other brave men and women, I put myself forwards. A lot was sacrificed. He pushed us to the limit. Dozens of us died or were left crippled, and we came close to success. The Juggernaut Warrior was the final design. More than a soldier, more than a human, with titanium skin impervious to infection, perfectly pure, pure, pure as a smile in winter, as a human should be. There were problems. Total encapsulation created some. Mental instability, hallucinations, dreams. Not everyone could take it, but there was no shortage of volunteers to take the program forward. And then, Tobias West, the coward, the traitor, the small-minded charlatan, pulled the plug. Terrified of what he couldn't understand, the great leader ordered everyone involved with the project killed. Killed! Maybe he thought if he buried us, he'd bury the truth of his shame along with us. His shame! But we fought back. I and several others managed to escape. For years we remained silent, hiding, running, waiting for the right moment. The right moment. And that moment has come. Has come! Facing a losing battle against the Pandora virus, the weak-minded West has reactivated the old Project Journey facilities, and that makes him vulnerable. Phoenix, I am offering you an exchange. I know the location of the facility and how to get in. You have the firepower. The power! Hailstorms of fire and acid. Raid the lab and share the tech with us. All this time in hiding has left us damaged and in need of urgent repairs. If you succeed, we will both gain. Humanity will gain. We are the pure. The pure! We are the future. Help us, Phoenix. Help our species. This new Jericho neural tech we've been hearing about, it sounds like a pretty cool technology, really, but has anyone thought about how easily it could be abused by, uh, I don't know, an autocratic leader with delusions of grandeur? You think so? Because to me, it seems like... Research complete. The Disciples of Anu were a mystery. Where others saw devastation, they saw hope. Where others saw the end of the world, they saw a new beginning. Their leader called herself the Exalted, and she claimed to believe in humanity. She preached that the human soul was perfect, that the root of our problems was our insufficient evolution. The Pandora virus was a threat, but it was also an opportunity to change ourselves, to become better humans, to mutate. We knew that humanity needed to adapt. There was no other way to survive. The disciples offered a solution, but what was their end game? There was something beyond their hierarchies and their rituals. The exalted had a secret. Thank you. 
Construction complete. Research complete. Research complete. Research complete. Thank you. 